So what would it take to motivate you to live more like Jesus this year? Hey friends, it's Pastor Mike from Fellowship Church. Always love to connect with you midweek. Hope you're having a wonderful new year so far. 2024, takes a little while to get used to that number. Hope you had a wonderful holiday season with your family. That question for you again, what would it take to motivate you to live more like Jesus and do Jesus things in this new year? To kind of give you a little bit of a thought on that and work that through a little bit, I want to imagine, want you to imagine that you are watching TV And uh, you probably got to go back in time a little bit because the TV shows I have in mind are probably not something you'd see on TV anymore today. You're watching the TV show Bonanza, or maybe you're watching Big Valley or something like that. Those are Westerns. You don't see Westerns around very much anymore. And as the star of the TV show gets off his horse, and as he's walking along the boardwalk in town, you can hear something going jingle, jingle, jingle. You think to yourself, does he have a bunch of money in his pocket or what's going on there? No, no, no. He has something on his boots. In those days, in, and even in Western movies and so on, quite often people would wear these metal devices on the heel of their boot. It's called a spur. They would use the spurs when they're riding horses. And to make the horse go faster, they would dig those spurs into the flank of the horse. Now that probably sounds a little bit cruel to you, but that's what happened in the Western days. They used those spurs on the heels of their boots, dig them into the flank of the horse. And here's one thing we know for sure. The horse could not ignore the spur. Maybe it sounds a little inhumane or a little cruel to you. Probably wouldn't do that anymore today. But one thing is for sure. The horse could not say, hey, what was that? That's a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling in my nether regions. No, 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 no. The horse knew that it was being spurred on and the horse moved faster. Great motivational tool, at least in those days. Pastor Mike, why are you bringing all this up? Well, because in Hebrews chapter 10, Hebrews 10, 24, there's a verse that says, and let us consider how we may spur one another on to love and good deeds. My first thought is love and good deeds. That sounds like exactly the life that Jesus wanted us to live. That's the Christian life. You could even say that's the Jesus life. Jesus' life was characterized by love and good deeds. So when I think of love and good deeds, I'm thinking that's the Christian life, that's the Jesus life. Then I think, boy, sometimes that's pretty hard to live. There certainly are a lot of other things going on in this world and things that I find in my heart that would make me want to live in a way other than love and good deeds. So the book of Hebrews comes up with that really cool analogy, which is, so what would it take to spur you on to love and good deeds? What kind of a motivation would it take for you to live love and good deeds and do it in a way that you couldn't ignore it? The fact that the fact that, that passage is in the Bible tells me that, sure, there were people in those days who professed themselves to be Christians, but their life looked like anything other than love and good deeds. So they were talking about spurring one another on. It's really kind of a cool word, that word spur. It literally means something that provides a motivation you can't ignore. So friends, what kind of a motivation would it take for you to really live like Jesus in this new year? And what kind of a motivation would you be unable to ignore? Because friends, you and I hear all the time about what it means to live like Jesus, love and good deeds and all that. And yet, sometimes we can just ignore all those things and live in a different way. What would motivate you in this coming year to live love and good deeds and to live more like Jesus? What kind of a spur do you need? What in your life would be, for you, unable to ignore it? Maybe God wants to use a motivation like that for you in 2024. Maybe it's time to get out the spurs. Friends, I hope that makes you a little bit uncomfortable. It certainly does me, but Jesus takes that love and good deeds things pretty seriously. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Hope you know that we love you, pray for you, care for you a whole bunch. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.